All right, bear with me, you guys. This is on my cell phone. I don't have a fancy GoPro or anything. Um, so I just wanted to do a quick review. Um, I don't feel like there's a lot out there. There's a couple, a couple good ones, but I felt like uh, people could use a little bit more here. So this is the Cobalt 60 gallon, two stage, 175 max PSI air compressor from Lowe's. Um, a lot of people like to point out that this is a Campbell Housefield um, compressor that has been basically rebranded, relabeled for sale by Cobalt. Um, so um, out of the, you know, basically out of the package from the store, um, it, it's very, you know, comes very basic, no fittings. Um, it doesn't come with the um, electrical connection, so you will have to wire that up. And what I did for that was just purchase a, I think it's the 12 foot long three wire already inside of the conduit and it has two of the, it has a strain relief there and then a strain relief at the other end and then I bought the uh, proper three prong um, connector for, I think this one's the 200, 240 volt 50 amp um, plug head. Um, so, so you'll have to get that. A um, couple other things to really mind that uh, I got, th there was another guy on YouTube that suggested uh, changing this out, but on the the actual um, compressor, I guess motor, not the motor. There's the motor, but the the actual, you know, cylinders and everything. Um, that right there comes with just a standard 3 8 NPT flat dead end plug and a good thing that he pointed out is if you were to want to drain your oil and open it up it just would leak right down your compressor and get everywhere so before I even got everything hooked up I just drained the oil that came in with it and then added a two inch long uh, 3 8 MPT male male each way put a 90 female on here and then just a simple little ball valve There so that I can just change the oil I can hook up a 3 8 MPT hose here if I want to go down or I can just hold the uh, um, uh, Hold my drip pan or whatever right underneath it while I'm emptying that out So that was a kind of a slick deal. I thought that was smart. So I went ahead and did that I'm happy with that um, another thing to mind is that the release valve for water, and you'll see there's already some stuff. Um, so that, this is the fitting it comes with, but it comes just straight up and down. Um, and the lever on the ball valve um, is actually so tight up against the flange here on the uh, female fitting going into the compressor, you couldn't actuate it with your finger. You actually had to use like a screwdriver or something narrow to get in there to flip the valve down. So what I did was just put a, and this is quarter inch NPT down here, I put a quarter inch male to female 45 degree elbow on there and then just reused the same drain fitting um, that came with it and put it in there. Now it's, now it's really easy to get to. Um, you'll notice I kept it on the pallet for now. I, I uh, had taken it off and was trying to figure out if I wanted to um, drill some studs down into the concrete and I bought some I bought some uh, heavy duty pre-drilled uh, rubber mounts for it and I was going to come up with a system for that but I, I decided to hold off on that for now because I don't know how long I'll be at this house um, so anyway I want to show you guys the system that I set up so Coming off the compressor, it's three quarter inch NPT, and uh, you'll see I immediately did a 90 um, with a little bit of an extension, two inch extension there with a ball valve. Um, got these off of Amazon, they work great, no leaks. And then you'll see I used a hydraulic line so I could have a flex point to get over to my radiator system, which I'll show you here in a, in a, in a bit here in my cooling and drying system. So. Just comes up in, soldered some joints here, and then I just used a shark bite fitting uh, to join them so I had kind of a, a movable point. 
you'll see one ball valve there because there's a vertical line that goes up and that ball valve there and then at the bottoms of each of these lines that are going up and down and around um, those are just release points for moisture um, so you can just you know when you you know if you've had this thing under compression for a while and been running a lot of cycles you get a lot of moisture in the lines this will give you an, an option it's pretty loud um, to just drop drop out some of the moisture at each at each down point um, coming over here going to so this is all by the way this is all three quarter inch uh, copper pipe so it's all three quarter inch um, going into the filter bank and this is a pneumatic plus um, it's max max operating pressure of 150 psi so it's a I think it's a particulate um, filter and a uh, uh, water separator filter in there as well plus the the regulator and you'll see it's holding right at 90 where I have it set um, so then coming off of that stays three quarter inch um, and I put myself a couple ball valves here in case I want to um, create some more lines for now I only have need for the one at the moment but in the future if I go ahead and set up a you know a paint booth or um, or a uh, plasma cutter or something like that um, I now have very clean air so very clean and cool air so this system is designed to help cool the air as it comes in because it's very hot when it's first compressed and now there's a lot of energy um, creates a lot of heat so there's about 25 feet 25 to 30 feet um, of copper pipe there going up and down to help cool the gravity you know I the 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 vertical nature of this was to help, you know, to allow just some physics to to play into helping to keep moisture out. So um, that that's what the drain valves were for, is to to let that moisture kind of roll back down and blow off. Then it goes into the filter system. When it comes out, it stays three quarter. I added another flexible line, so this is another hydraulic line um, that comes out uh, there and uh, goes up to um, my uh, spring-loaded wheel here for my 3 8 line. So here it's just some more soldered points. So here, this is the first point at which it chokes down. So it goes from 3 quarter here down to half inch and then comes into the 3 8 line here. So n remember, so it's all larger diameter from the tank and it doesn't narrow down until you're at this point. You never want it to, you don't want to have a um, large volume go to a narrow point and then open back up again, you'll, you'll lose pressure and you won't be able to keep that tool running efficiently. So, so far, um, it's been, it's, uh, it's, it's worked well. Um, the only issues I wanna point out, nothing from my system, but the compressor itself, um, so my system had no leaks and, I, and I'd never done any copper tube soldering or anything, it was actually really easy. There's a few guys on YouTube giving uh you know tutorials on that and, and it was great and i didn't have a single leak and there was probably 60 plus different areas where this system had potential to leak before i set it all up but when i hooked everything up and pressurized the system i had no leak so I was super happy with that um, the design i'm really happy with how it turned out um, i think it's functioning really well it's keeping my tools fresh with you know without degrading them from getting that moisture into the tool to to uh, cause it to, to rust up now, on the compressor itself was a different story. So this copper tube setup that comes from the, comes off of the smaller cylinder here um, and goes down into the tank where it actually supplies the, uh, the air. This thing has, so it's one female th uh, fitting that goes down into the tank. Then there's the line that comes off and goes into your switch bank here with your with your gauge for the uh, tank pressure. Um, so this line actually, that was leaking. So I had to take all that apart and, uh, and re-tape everything. So there was, there was essentially no Teflon or any kind of sealant on those lines. So I had to reseal those um, all the way up here to the, to the uh, compressor itself. Um, and then right back here, there's a quarter inch MPT plug there, that guy. And that guy was leaking. And when I went to take it off, it was finger tight and it was just allowing moisture to escape. 
Um, another thing I did was this this line here. It's just like a um, nylon or you know a hard flexible uh, tubing here with the quick quick fit here uh, or quick connect. Um, I ended up just putting some some extra tubing that I had around it because it goes tied up against this uh, kind of sharp edge and there was a little bit of a ding already kind of cutting it, wearing into it along there. So I just did this to kind of pattern things up. Uh, that was from another guy on YouTube that um, recommended that and that, that seemed like a good idea and lo and behold there was evidence of it. So, um, But other than that, um, you know, it was a lot of work to get this thing set up, but I think it's totally worth it um, in the long run um, to to, for longevity of your tools and if you want to upgrade and add plasma cutter or uh, uh, paint system you're going to need a really dry dry system for that uh, to work fun um, properly so happy with that i say put in the work up front to get um, to, to give yourself some options for uh, expanding off of it i also mounted everything to just a sheet of plywood and uh, so if i ever leave this place I've got it on the pallet, can quickly get it out of here, and I can just unbolt that off the wall, disconnect all the, the flex fittings, and just remove the whole system out of here and, and uh, relocate it later at another location. Um, so that's about it. So far, pretty happy. Um, seems to be holding pressure pretty well. I may have another leak somewhere. It's not in, so far I haven't been able to see anything in, the, in, in this system, but I keep finding more and more areas you'll see. I mean, that, that came from the factory. It's, you know, it looks old and dried out and decayed. So I'm having to kind of go through and start replacing some of the factory uh, seals on, on these uh, fittings. So other than that, guys, I uh, hope this helps. Um, pretty happy with it. Been wanting a two-stage vertical compressor for a long time to run all my uh, automotive tools. Um, yeah. Hope that helps. Uh, cheers and, and uh, happy uh, working.